have you ever wondered why racing cyclists always crouch down low on their bicycles while racing or why is the shape of aeroplane such a kind of shape or you can say a streamlined shape well we'll come to what is streamlined well liquids and gases exert force of friction when objects move through them till now we have learned that solids when rubbed against each other they cause force of friction but fluids such as liquids and gases they also exert a force of friction when any object is passing through them or moving through them now this friction is actually called fluid friction the friction that is caused in fluids such as liquids and gases now in this video you will see that this feather and ball is moving down very slow now this experiment was actually performed by galileo here the ball and the feather are moving down in the same speed and falling at the same time now this is because there was no air present in between the upper and the bottom part of this line but does that actually happen in real life do you think that the feather and a ball will fall at the same time on the floor if you drop them from above no in real life what happens a leaf falling from a tree takes more time to reach the ground than a fruit falling from a tree now why does this happen well this happens because the surface area of a leaf is more than the surface area of a fruit so this leaf actually experiences a more amount of air frictional force that actually causes this to slow down while coming to the ground and this fruit falls before this leaf now where does this frictional force come from this frictional force comes from the air that is present in between the leaf and the ground now air has to be present everywhere in nature so this air has some frictional force called as fluid friction that causes the leaf to come slow to the ground than the fruit so this factor affects the fluid friction the fluid friction depends on the shape of the object here we could see that the shape of this leaf is actually giving a bigger surface area than this fruit so this fluid friction is acting more on this leaf than the fruit so fluid friction depends on the shape of the object now fluid friction also depends on type of the fluid now how well if liquid passes from a hose pipe it passes very smoothly very gently very fast whereas if you pass grease from a pipe grease is a very thick fluid so it will experience more amount of friction so fluid friction actually depends on the type of fluid as well now isn't there any way to reduce this fluid friction well there is well we come back to what we call the streamlined shape well making objects in the streamlined shape actually reduces this fluid friction what is this streamlined shape well shape that is narrow at the ends and broad in the middle didn't get it now let's see what well this is actually the streamlined shape where we mean that it is it is broad in the middle and narrow at the ends now this is the reason that they crouch down while racing because they want it to be broad in the middle and narrow at the ends now this streamlined shape actually will move easily through fluids and reduce fluid friction now if you notice there is a very interesting fact about fishes and birds they also have streamlined shape look at the fish it is broad in middle and narrow at the corners or if you look at the bird it is broad in the middle and narrow at the corners now they have this streamlined shape so you can see that fishes they swim very fast through the water and this and these birds they also fly very nicely through the air so the air and liquids that is the 
fluid, they cause friction, and that friction can be lessened by making things of the shape streamlined. So, what did we study? Fluid friction occurs in fluids, which are liquids or gases, and this fluid friction can be reduced by making things streamlined shape. 